What? Hello, Exile. You're watching Altec 2K Gaming. In this one, we're going to talk all about the Fifth Ascendancy. Most of you are probably aware that this is a thing. If you're not, then you're not alone. There were several people on Discord who didn't, so I thought it was time to make a video. You know what it's like. You kill a Zaro, you run to the Ascension Altar, you go to apply your Ascendancy, and you've already got one. In fact, you've had one since about level 17. This makes characters absolutely ridiculously strong in the early game. Having an Ascendancy at level 17 allows you to have two Ascendancies by level 31. Normally you only have two by 54. Now this is extremely strong, but there are some limitations to it. The first limitation is it can only be placed on your base character. That means if your base character is a Marauder, it will work for any Ascendancy that is either Berserker, Chieftain or Juggernaut. It will not work with something from Slayer. And you'll see that here, I'm trying to put a Marauder one on a Pathfinder and it's read it out and you try and socket it and it just won't let you socket it. To equip this as early as level 17, and actually you could have done it slightly quicker, I pathed immediately to two different jewel sockets and put this in. And this is how you get the fifth ascendancy. You get two gems that you socket in your tree. One is called Forbidden Flame and the other is Forbidden Flesh. Each of these has a single ascendancy printed on them. You must get a matching pair, i.e. the same ascendancy on both, and then you can socket them in the tree on the base character, and that character will immediately, on having two sockets, gain that ascendancy. So no longer do you get four, you can get five. Now notice it's only the notable, not what paths up to it. And that's an important point. So if you look at this, when I'm ascending in the lab, I'm trying to put it onto the um, existing ascendancy and path off there. You can't do that. In fact, you've got to select the ascendancy again in order to actually path through it, which is a bit silly, in my opinion but that's the way they've decided to implement it. So if you are going to get a fifth ascendancy, it must be one at the end of a path or one in the middle of a path that you're not going to path through. The one I've got here is really terrible for a juggernaut because it's right in the middle and I can't get any on either side. But if it's at the ends, it's absolutely fine. Now I think these two jewels cost me somewhere about three X. It's not a very popular ascendancy. It's pretty defensive though. But imagine if you went for the juggernaut ascendancy that gives you 40% more damage and makes you take 10% more. Who wouldn't go for that? So that will be really expensive. Now you don't have to pay for these, you can farm them yourselves, but getting each combination could be very, very difficult. It may just be worth farming them, selling the jewels on, and then buying a pair for yourself. And that takes us very nicely onto the acquisition of these jewels. So how do you acquire them? The first way of acquiring them is to use the trade site. What you want to do is open two different windows. You want to get one looking for the Forbidden Flesh one, and the other one looking for Forbidden Flame. And then in the any box, drag it down and select the ascendancy you want. And let's imagine we're going to go for gratuitous violence on Gladiator for the bleed explosions. We do that in both. And then we just click search. Okay, two exalt. That's not bad. Four exalt then for the pair. No hold right there. Always check both because this one is a great example of one is 2x and on the other side it's 26x. So in total it'll cost you 28x to buy these two jewels. And that's why I suggest you farm them to sell, because they are worth a global ton of exalted currency. You'd pretty much be set up for the whole league if you manage to drop a decent ascendancy. And some are worth more. A lot of the occultist ones and the witch ones are worth a fortune. So how do you acquire them if you want to drop them? And that's pretty straightforward. You either fight the Searing Exarch or you fight the Eater of Worlds. Now the drop rate is very small, but if we look at the Atlas Passive Tree, you'll see on both sides you've got the Eater of Worlds nodes up here. And you've got the Searing Exarch nodes here. Now in the top middle of each node, you'll see the Searing Exarch has 25% increased chance to drop Forbidden Flame, which is one of the two jewels, it's the red one. Zooming over now to the other side of the tree, and you've got the same. The Eater of Worlds has a 25% increased chance to drop the Forbidden Flesh. Now this isn't as strong as it sounds, because imagine the drop chance was 4%, 25% of that is 1%, so you'd get 5% instead of 4. But every little helps, especially on something with a low drop rate. And it may be rarer than dropping an Exalt, but it's also 27 times more profitable if you get the right one. So to be able to farm this reliably, you're going to want to know how to kill both the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds. I have guides for both of these characters, which will be showing in the top left for the Searing Exarch and the top right for the Eater of Worlds. And in the middle, there'll be the logo for this channel. Click there if you want to subscribe and see more. Also remember to tickle that like button. It likes it a lot. And with that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.